When you buy a 3D scanner, chances are it needs to run on a computer with a BV graphics card and a ton of memory to get the best performance out of the scanner and the software. Recently, I've been testing different 3D scanners, and since everything I need to scan is in the garage, I picked up a gaming laptop, so I can be relatively mobile. But to get the rated performance out of the computer, I need to have it plugged into this giant power brick. So it's basically one step away from being a desktop PC. So not only is my computer tethered to the wall with a charging brick, the 3D scanner is also tethered to the computer. And I'm left with an unsafe bundle of wires each time I need to scan something. This is where the Einstar Vega shines. Our friends at 3D Wonders were kind enough to let me test it out and show you guys what it's all about. The package comes with a softshell carrying case, and early adopters of the Vega get a tripod included. We all get the protective silicone cover. They include a 65 watt charging brick and a USB-C cable, as well as a tether so you can attach it to the Vega so you don't drop it. Like all good scanners, it comes with a calibration board, a stand, and some tracking targets. When you turn it on, it's pretty much ready to start scanning, but it's always a good idea to calibrate it first. The interface is intuitive and the touchscreen is responsive. Once you identify the calibration board with the QR code, the screen gives you directions on how to calibrate the Vega. This process only takes a couple of minutes and it's recommended to do it every time you change lighting conditions or every seven days. There are two scanning modes. HD is for high detail and relatively small objects, while fast mode is for bigger objects. For HD mode, we'll scan this little turbocharger from my Honda Beat. The HD mode uses infrared MEMS technology and captures at 15 frames per second. The Vega quickly captures the geometry and texture without any issues. I can even pause the scan, rotate the turbo, and once the Vega finds a feature it can align to, it continues scanning. To test out fast mode, I'm going to scan the front end of my Honda Beat. Don't mind the tracking targets and scanning spray, this is for another video that I'll be posting pretty soon, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on that. Fast mode uses Vexel structured light tech. It picks up unique features and adds to the point cloud as you move the object. I dialed back the scanning distance a little because I didn't want to capture everything around my car. This is real time footage of scanning the front end, and as you can see, it's pretty fast. The point cloud goes from red to green, indicating it has enough data for that area. Since the front end is a large area with minimal unique features, it does lose tracking occasionally. But it picks back up quickly when you move back to a previously scanned area. I found that if you stay a moment to ensure that the point cloud is green, there are fewer instances of losing tracking. Being an all-in-one scanner, you can make edits to the mesh directly on the Vega. Just be sure to save the changes. You can upload the mesh file onto Shining 3D's cloud server directly from the Vega, or you can use the USB-C cable and work straight on the computer. The dedicated software for the Vega is called Star Vision, and you can upload all the scanned files from the Vega to your computer. This is the mesh for the turbo we scanned earlier. You can see all the detail it picked up on the cast aluminum and even the threads. And just to test the accuracy, we'll take a measurement of the inlet and it's well within a couple tenths of a millimeter. Next, I imported the front end scans and like I mentioned before, be sure to save any changes to the mesh you make on the Vega because I didn't, so I'm removing the floor again in the Star Vision app. If you have multiple scans of an object, there's an alignment feature. Just choose the two scans you want to align, and the software neatly aligns them together by features. Afterward, I can generate a mesh for the aligned scans and export it in OBJ, STL, or PLY formats. Overall, this is a very capable 3D scanner, especially being all-in-one. 
It makes it easy and convenient to pick it up and take it to the junkyard or a friend's house to scan car parts, instead of carrying the laptop, charger, and the bundle of wires every time. If you're interested in the Einstar Vega or any other 3D scanner, make sure to visit our friends at 3dwonders.shop. You can schedule a demo or buy directly from the site. I have all the links in the description, and if you use this code, you'll get free scanning spray with the purchase of a scanner, so you can get to work right away. By supporting our sponsors, our channel gets a little kickback and it helps us to make more videos. So make sure to visit 3D Wonders on all your favorite social media platforms. I'll be posting more videos on here as well as Instagram and TikTok about the Vega and other 3D scanners. So if you have any questions, leave a comment down below and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out. Thanks.